lovely people, welcome to Ezra Wellness, where you learn proven ways to help to live in. This is the Lady Salome, I'm a nurse and a functional nutrition counselor. In this video, I'm talking about causes of insulin resistance and how you could reverse it. So let's dig right in. What is insulin resistance in the first place? Insulin resistant is when your body, the cells in your body, is not responding to the hormone insulin. Anytime that we eat carbohydrates and proteins, our blood glucose goes up. And when blood glucose go up, the pancreas will release insulin. And the work of insulin is to tell the cells to pick up the glucose from the blood. So when the cells pick it up, and the blood glucose level go down, the pancreas will stop releasing the insulin. But it gets to a point that even though there is glucose and there is insulin released from the pancreas, the cells do not respond to the action of the insulin. And blood sugar could remain high or the body will pump more insulin so on before the cells respond. And when you get to this condition, we say that you are insulin resistant which is the beginning or that pre-diabetes, then when it goes ahead, it becomes diabetes. So what causes insulin resistance in the first place? When you go online and you try to Google it to see the cause of insulin resistance, most of the articles that you come across will tell you that they don't know the exact cause of insulin resistance. It could be um, so many things. They bring some factors that are involved, like obesity, sedentary lifestyle, um, high triglyceride, high cholesterol. So if they don't know the exact cause of a condition, how would you be able to reverse it? But in my research, I came across the work of Dr. Jason Fund. In his book, The Obesity Code and the Diabetic Code, he explains insulin resistance this way that I think it makes a lot of sense. I've followed it and it has helped me. So I hope that as I explain and you also follow these tips, it will help you to reverse your insulin resistance. So this is how he explains it. He says that exposure creates resistance. And you know, in the same way, let's look at antibiotic resistance, which we all do understand. You know, when people do take antibiotic for reasons that you don't need the antibiotic for, like a cold, or like something that even is not infection, they want antibiotic, they even have a cough, they want antibiotic and that. You take antibiotic, the misuse of antibiotic, you are exposing yourself to antibiotics so much, it gets to a point that you build resistance to that particular antibiotic that you use a lot. So in case you get sick and you need that kind of antibiotic because you have built resistance to it, when they give it to you, it doesn't work. So in the same light, he explains insulin. So once our body gets exposed to insulin so much, it gets to a point your cells build resistance to them because they have seen it so much. And how does this happen? Let's say, for example, you wake up in the morning at 8, you have a bowl of rice. At 10, you eat a donut. At 12, you eat pasta. At 3, you eat some cookies. At dinner, you have, let's say, pizza. You see, throughout the day, you see that you are, you're exposing your body to a lot of high carbohydrate food. And because of that, your body don't have rest for the insulin um, blood glucose to go down so that your insulin level will also go down. Because your blood sugar is up throughout the day like that, your body keep on pumping out the insulin. And whilst you are seeing the insulin like that throughout the day, and if you continue this way of eating, for a long period of time, your body tends to build resistance, the cells, because they've seen the insulin so much. So they build resistance and that causes your pancreas to pump up more insulin and more insulin continue to feed into the resistance. That is why when you see that you are diabetic, they give you insulin, it gets to a point you need more insulin and before that it will work. So, if exposure creates resistance, then what are you going to do to reverse your insulin resistance? So, what I would say is that it's very important to help to decrease insulin resistance because insulin resistance 
is a part of the metabolic syndrome, which is insulin resistant, big abdominal circumference, high blood pressure, high triglyceride, high cholesterol. And when you have this metabolic syndrome, these conditions that I've mentioned, it puts you at risk for heart disease, fatty liver disease, the non-alcoholic kind. And also, it puts you at risk for certain types of cancer. Because of that, you want to reverse insulin resistance. So when you're watching me and your doctor has said you have insulin resistance or you have big belly circumference or you have PCOS, that means you have insulin resistance. So you want to listen in and see how you could reverse it. So now let's look at it. If exposure has created resistance, then it makes sense that to reverse it, you have to decrease your exposure to insulin. And how do you do it? The three food groups that we eat, carbohydrates, the starchy kind, protein, and then fats. All these food groups, what affects insulin the most is your carbohydrates. Re followed by protein and fat is the one that affects insulin the least. So with that in mind, you want to make sure that you're eating low carbohydrate foods. So at Ezra Wellness, we encourage that you eat carbohydrate once a day. That is the starchy kind. And focus more on your non-starchy carbohydrate, your vegetables, and eat that one multiple times during the day, and eat moderate amount of protein, and have sufficient amount of fat. Your avocados, olive oils, the healthy fat, eat sufficient amount so that it fills you up. And then, that would, when you eat low carbohydrate, it will help you to become insulin sensitive again another way for you to reverse your insulin resistance is to avoid snacking between meals because when you snack between the three meals it keeps your blood glucose up all the time and insulin levels will also be up and remember exposure creates resistance so you want to eat breakfast lunch and dinner give your body time to drop the blood sugar so that your insulin level will also drop, thereby making your cells sensitive to insulin again. Point number three, you want to attempt intermittent fasting because you know intermittent fasting, anytime that you don't eat, your blood glucose will go down and your blood insulin level will also go down. So when you intermittent fast, it's help your cells to be sensitive to insulin again. Salome, I don't know how to intermittent fast. I haven't tried it before. Well, check out Ezra Wellness Guide for Intermittent Fasting, which is out on my website, and you will know exactly how to go about it and how to start it. Point number four, I would say make sure you're having a good night's sleep. If you do not sleep, your body perceives it as stress. And this stress, you know, stress causes our cortisol hormone to be released. Cortisol will cause your blood sugar to go up. And when blood sugar goes up, insulin needs to be released. And exposure will create resistance. So you want to make sure you're getting a good night's sleep. Also, manage your stress. When you are stressed out, cortisol comes on board. Blood sugar goes up. Insulin is released. That causes insulin to be up. Remember, exposure creates resistance. So therefore, you want to make sure that you manage your stress. Things that you can avoid, please eliminate them completely. Those that you cannot avoid, just manage it. And the last point that I would say is that exercise. Most of the time, because people say they want to be insulin sensitive, again, doctor will say exercise. And then we'll go to the gym and we're doing a lot of hard work exercise. No. When you are insulin resistant, you don't want to do vigorous exercise you want to go mild exercises like walking weight lifting and things like that that will make your cells you know it will not be too stressed out but it will be able to help your cells to be sensitive again i hope these points would help you to reverse your insulin resistance are you new to this channel please subscribe like this video Share it to your friends and family and let us all grow healthy together. Thank you so much for watching this video. Until I see you in the next video, remember, this is Ezra Wellness, where you learn proving ways to help to live in. Thank you for your time.